What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there today? It's your girl Tiffany, and I'm back. I'm back at it, y'all. I'm back at it with some more videos. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing this once a week, twice a week. I don't know, but I'm definitely doing it weekly. So, if you have not yet read the title of this video, the title of this video, y'all, is just seven habits you can do right now to lead to happiness in your old age seven habits that you can pick up right now today as you're reading and watching and studying my video to lead to happiness in old age it's not going to be too much more it's not going to be too much less so you can go ahead you can subscribe if you like you can like if you like you can comment if you like it's up to you. Your life, your choice, just like my video. Choices, right? That's what I do. Everybody has a choice, and that's what I'm giving people. Choices. So stick to the video. You won't be disappointed. I'm going to get right to this. I'm going to get right to it because, y'all, every day, if not twice a day, especially at work or whenever I mention that I'm about to be 40 or that I have a 24-year-old son, people ask me the same thing. What do you do? What do you do? What are you doing to make you look so young? They don't believe me. I have people at work telling me they thought I was 30. They thought I was in my late 20s. All this weird stuff. And I'm like, no, baby. I'm pushing 40. I'm pushing 40. So, it's some things that I picked up throughout these decades that have helped me. And it's some things I'm going to share with you. Alright, so stick to the video and I'm about to get right to it, y'all. Yes, I am. Alright y'all, so out of these seven things, it is one that I kind of have an issue with. I'm kind of learning right now. Um, trying to uh, quit is, is the best word I could describe this situation. But the first thing that's on your list, on my list, on our list, because we are one, is just stop smoking. Stop smoking. I picked up smoking maybe 25 years ago and I did it just to be cool to be honest just to be cool around that time teen pregnancy smoking cigarettes was in I was part of the in crowd I started smoking cigarettes and I have been trying to stop for a very long time if you want to live a long prosper life you have to stop smoking the reason I can say that because I have a 95 year old great grandma and when I was uh, when I was caring for her last year for a couple of months you know I had some real interesting conversations with my grandmother and one thing that she told me is the day she stopped smoking cigarettes she was at work um, a bunch of people was going outside to smoke and they asked her and she was like no I don't do that anymore and she stops, and my grandma's 95. So I know, once you stop smoking or you never pick up cigarettes, it will help you. I have learned, I don't know where I learned this, I cannot give you the research from this, but I have learned that stopping smoking will add 10 years on your life. You would never see an 80 year old, 90 year old smoker. Doesn't even make sense, right? No, so stop smoking. If you haven't started, don't stop, I mean don't start, and if you started, stop. All right. And on this mist, on this journey, I will let you guys know if I fully stop. But I am trying to stop that. All right. So that's the first thing. All right, y'all. So the second thing that's on your girl list of just seven habits you could do to lead to happiness in your old age. And the second thing that's on this list is just watch your drinking intake. Watch your drinking intake. I'm not going to say... Um, don't drink because once you hit 21 or sometimes people before they hit 21 they drink people drink but drinking excessively um, drinking to suppress things um, drinking for all the wrong reasons could lead to a lot of unhappiness as you get older I'm not a drinker so so to speak I don't know if it's because I have been around a lot of alcoholics and God has limit my in alcohol intake so I can't get too drunk. Um, I usually go to sleep, get sick, 
is I can't get drunk. I don't know why. Um, I thank God that he did that to me. Um, but that's one thing that I would say is just watch your alcohol intake. Don't drink excess excessively because um, it will bring that ageness on your face. You'll get those bags under your eyes. Um, some people eyes turn blue. But drinking a lot can really take years off your life. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that because I know um, alcohol is, you know, it's, it's addictive. And I don't want to get too deep into the alcoholism. But that's the number two thing on my list is just watch your alcohol intake. Uh, if you're drinking for all the wrong reasons, stop. If you're drinking and you don't know how to stop, get help. Get help now. Okay? So that's the second thing. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But just watch your alcohol intake. All right. All right, right y'all. So the third thing on your girl's list of just seven habits you could do right now just to, just to ensure that you'll be happy when you get a little bit older. That's all this is. All right. So the third thing on my list is just maintain a healthy body weight. I don't know what that means for you. You have to decide that on your own. But what it means for me is to make sure everything is tight. <laughs> but y'all, y'all have to maintain a healthy body weight. When you're in your 20s and when you're in your 30s, you can eat junk food. You can, you can go days without eating. You can not drink water. You can do all this stuff. But once you get into a certain age, a certain season in your life, you have to maintain a healthy body weight. Workout. Stretch. Plank. For me, y'all, I have not did it for the last two weeks. Not consistently, but I still do it. I do 100 plus squats a day. I plank for a minute. Six, seven months ago, yes, my body was not where it should be. I will admit that. But right now, pushing 40, yeah. So that's the first thing that I would say to you guys. Or the third thing that's on this list. It just maintain a positive, healthy body weight. And only you and maybe your doctor know what that is. Alright? Stick to me. I'm almost down to the four. Alright, y'all. So the fourth thing that's on your girl's list of just seven habits you could do today to make sure that you be happy when you get older. When you reach my age. All right. When you reach 40, when you almost at 40, I, I promise you, if you do at least three of the seven, it'll ensure some happiness for you. All right. So the fourth thing that's on your girl's list is just prioritize movement. Prioritize movement. I know the older we get, some of us get lazy. Some of us don't want to work out. Some of us just stop growing. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. If you want to be happy when you get older. And if you don't know what kind of movement to do, walk. Walk. Walk around the corner. Speed walk. Jog. But get up and do some kind of movement daily. Dance. Dancing is good for the soul, baby. But prioritize moving every day of your life. You need to find a way to move. Now that's the fourth thing that's on my list. All right, just pour, just, just, just move, just move. All right, y'all. So the fifth thing that's on your girl's list of just seven habits you can do today to make sure you be happy when you get older. All right. So the number fifth thing that's on your girl's list is just practicing coping mechanisms early in life. I know that's probably far-fetched and that's going over a lot of people here right now. But find ways to deal with, with the shit. Find healthy ways to deal with life. Find healthy ways to deal with difficult people. Find healthy ways to deal with anything that's not healthy to you. You have to do that. In order to be happy when you get older, you have to find ways to deal with shit now. Are you going to be a bitter old person? And them people don't look good. Them 56-year-old, 70-year-old people, 
that walk around bitter, angry, upset. That don't look good. That's because they didn't find ways to deal with stuff when they were younger. So now they just old, bitter, and unhappy. I would not be her. And I hope you won't be either. All right, so that's the fifth thing that's on my list, y'all. Find healthy ways to deal with life. With the good and the bad. All right? <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. So we are on the number six thing. The six thing that's on your girl's list. We're almost done. So the six thing that's on my list of just seven habits you could do right now to ensure that you be happy in old age, all right? So the number six thing is never stop educating yourself. Never stop learning. Always be a sponge. Always be willing to learn from the older generation. Always be willing to learn from the younger generation. Always be willing to learn from other cultures, other people, other genders. Always be willing to learn. You are never too old to not know something new. In order for you to be happy when you get to a certain stage of your life, a certain period, a certain age, you have to have a student mentality. You could be 100 years old, but you still have to be willing to learn. Knowledge is power. All right, so never stop learning, never stop growing, don't matter how old you get. Always be open-minded to learning something new, learning something different. That's the number 16 on my list. I'm almost done. Yes, I'm almost done. Hold on. All right, y'all, so we are on the number 17. We are at the end of this video, y'all. Thank y'all for sticking with me this long, man. You guys are the real MVPs. Not Steph Curry, no, I'm just playing. He is the real MVP, but y'all is too. If y'all stuck to the end of this video, you are the MVPs in my life. Yes, you are. <laughs> so the number seven thing that's on your girls list, this is the end of the video, is find ways to have stable, healthy relationships now. Find ways that you can experience healthy, good relationships now. Find people who you could count on. Find people that will have your back no matter what you do. Like that unconditional love, that real unconditional love. Find people in your life that could go, that you could grow with. Find people in your life that you can, that's willing to grow with you. You get what I'm saying? Stop, I'm not, just, that's the number seven thing, all right? Maintain healthy relationships. Find those people that are worth being in your life. Find those people that are worth growing with. Find those people that you can count on, no matter what. All right? Don't believe the flesh. Believe that person. Believe what God tells you about that person. Because everything good for you, baby, ain't good for you. And everybody around that's smiling, ooh, them be the worst. All right? So, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys comment, like, comment, like, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And until the next video, you guys be careful. Be careful. Alright? Live your life. Be you. Looks better on you. Like I say on every video, can't nobody be you but you. And you can't be nobody else, so stop trying. Alright? And until the next video, I'm out.